Hello everybody, Multiman37 back here with another review, this time of the Deluxe Gam Gan Saber from Kamen Rider Ghost. This is Ghost's main weapon that can turn into four modes, which I absolutely love this thing. This is by far the best weapon toy I have gotten so far. Not just for Ghost, but for, uh, you know, anything in general. So we'll take a look at the box, then we will take a look at the, let me make sure this is off actually. We'll take a look at the icon included, and then we will take a look at the Gam Gun Saber. I'm gonna make sure everything is off. So, we have the box, we got a picture of Kamen Rider Ghost with the Gam Gun Saber in Blade Mode. On this side, we have it in Nitoryu Mode, the Dual Wield Mode, Naginata Mode, the... Uh, twin blade mode and the gun mode. On this side we have Kamen Rider Ghost using it in blade mode. On this side we have him using it in Naginata and gun mode. On top, here we have a picture of him in Musashi Damashi with, holding it uh, with using the two blade mode. Here we got Ore Damashi, Musashi Damashi, and then you know, on the back is, of course, everything you're going to do with this thing. And it even advertises the Condor Denoir, which I actually do have. Um, so, we'll take a look at the icon included. Which is n uh, icon number 01, the Musashi Ghost Icon. This is based on the Japanese warrior Musashi Miyamoto, who uh, basically was known for wielding two swords and even created a school for that type of swordsmanship. Very nice. It is done out in a metallic red color, which I absolutely think is goddamn beautiful. That This looks extravagant. Uh... So, of course, we got number 01, Musashi, on top. We got the basic eye mode, and also the pins. The back, you also have the QR code. If you want to scan it, go ahead. So, we got the basic eye mode, number 01. The Damashi, which is two cross swords. And the Omega Drive, which is two swinging swords. Very nice, so we will take out the... Ghost Driver! The ghost Driver, and uh, see what kind of sounds this makes. Now, uh, even though I used Ore Damashi first, it doesn't matter. Uh, these icons, the basic form icons, do not matter. It will, um, because if they are black eye icons, they'll say uh, Bachi Mina, and then Spectres, which have blue eyes, will say Bachi Miniro. Uh, they have blue eyes in the lenses. So I just do this for effect. Because I feel like it. So. Yeah. Not sure if I mentioned that, but. You know. I kind of need to put it back into this Damashi anyway. Um, so let's use the mus Musashi icon. I'd say that kind of felt a little rushed. Let me do that again. So 
So there it is. You have it inside of the eye here. So first is the Omega Drive. And the Omidama. Very nice. Now we'll actually switch this back to Ore Damashi for the time being. Um, so I'm not going to Oyasumi just yet. So here we have the Gon Gon Saber. Very nicely done. Primarily black plastic with uh, little with little bits of Bandai silver all over. The handle itself is made out of clear plastic, clear blue plastic with painted silver on the inside and on the outside is orange with this grip right here. And you also get the bottom part for the Naginata mode. That's where the opening is. Um, very reminiscent uh, to Gaim in that sense, except it's a lot bigger, and I don't think you can even fit the uh, Muso Saber down here. I haven't tried, but I doubt that you could actually do that. And then you also got a slot up here for the Ghost Gadgets, which I do have one of them, uh, which is... Uh, the Denmore, Condor Denmore. You do have the release button right here, which will release this section, which this controls all the modes that this thing is in by itself. Surprisingly, this actually took three AAA batteries, um, two in here and then one in here, which is a little bit bizarre. I don't know why they couldn't have just had it in one spot, but I'm not complaining. Works out either way in my book so yeah so when we turn this thing on on off switches back here the speaker is a little bit tricky to find the first time around but it is if i check it is like right there a little bit tricky but uh whatever so when we turn it on we get get a white light and then uh, when you pull the trigger you get an orange light because normally he uses this in Ore Damashi. He can use this in any other Damashi but specifically he uses this in Ore Damashi. That's pretty much all the noises that it makes by itself. Now to activate the finisher attack, you don't put an icon in here. You actually hold it up to the ghost driver. Now since he normally uses this in Ore Damashi, I have the Ore Ghost icon set in there. Now you see the eye symbol, the ghost symbol that is uh, right here? You actually have to do, um, have it make eye contact with the belt eye to eye, and you will get the final attack standby. Hang on a minute. That was, a, that was a little too soon. Let's try that again. So it activates the Omega Break, which is the Blade Mode's finishing attack. And then, of course, after that, it has two modes. I'm going to start with, uh, I'm going to do them in the order of the show, starting with Nitoriu Mode. But first, we're going to switch back to Musashi.
Now to activate Nitoru mode, you hit the button back here. Now, with that alone, it will automatically make the Nitoru modes sound effects. Um, but, you want to also take this part and split it open. To reverse the process, all you're going to do is hold these two buttons on either side of the thing. And here we have it a, in Nitoru mode, which is its dual-bladed mode. This, by far, is my favorite favorite two swords in one i love that a lot this sword does not make any sound effects only this one does and of course it has a red light to correspond with musashi damashi because he only ever uses this in musashi damashi anyway so yeah and then, of course, you can take in your ghost driver and do the eye contact attack. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. So next up, we're going to do the gun mode, but first, since he normally uses it in Edison Damashi, we're going to switch to Edison Damashi. Now, to switch it into gun mode, take this, flip it all the way back, and then rather than putting it in forward, you're actually going to put it in backward because there's actually a little gun barrel and kind of like a little scope up here. So next up, you fold the handle down by push pushing the button back here, and then you attach the barrel. And here we have it in gun mode, and I just fired it off. Next. For a quite uh, decent sized gun, I will add. Very nice. I do like, and yeah, it's even got a gun barrel. Nice little detail. They didn't have to put that there, but they did. I love it. So. Next up, we'll do the eye contact attack. Take the ghost driver, eye contact. So this attack was Omega Shoot, and I didn't think I mentioned it before, but the other one was Omega Slash, the dual blade mode. Next up is Naginata mode. Now, a lot of people speculated because it had a blue light that it was going to be used with Newton Damashi, but he doesn't use it because of the boxing gloves that he has on. Uh, although he could use it in Beethoven Damashi. One, it's because uh, the Naginata mode for the um, Gamgan Saber for the figure version came in the set with Beethoven and uh, Benkei. Um, but he has also used it in Ore Damashi. It might actually make for a kind of like a baton for musical stuff. But uh, just for the sake of color matching, and because I don't even have the icon to begin with, I'm just going to use Newton. Anyway. Although it would be nice if he could use it in uh, Newton Damashi, maybe like have the gloves fold up on the shoulders and have him wield a weapon, or better yet, have the gravity power swing around that thing. 
That would have been cool, actually, if you think about it like that. So hit the button back there to straighten the blade, the handle back out. Take this off. Rather than attaching it up there, we're going to attach it to the bottom. Here we have Naginata mode, which is about, which is actually longer than the box. This is by far its longest form. Yeah, this is pretty much the longest form by far. So we do get... Those two sound effects, and of course the eye contact attack. And that's the Naginata Modes attack, Omega Stream. The way this works is uh, there are like little micro switches here and two over here that to pick which mode it's in. If it's this one, Naginata Mode. If it's this one, it's going to be in Gun Mode. If it's the one right next to it, it's going to be in Blade Mode. However, there are more micro switches up here for the ghost gadgets, so that's actually pretty cool. And uh, the way that the, the one works on top is wherever that pin is facing, whether it's forward or backward, that's the button that's going to hit. So, yeah. By the way, um, you don't actually need an icon uh, inside... Hell, you don't even need to have this on, and it, you you can have it off. Like right now, I turned it off, and you can still do it. And that's because there's actually a magnet system in here. There's a magnet in here, and there's a magnet in here that actually somehow pushes a button or something that activates the eye contact finisher. Now, this will also work with other magnet toys that Kamen Rider has released, like uh, for Deno, it would be the Rider Pass that came with the Deno belt. For Wizard, it would be the Wizard Ring, the Infinity Wizard Ring. But if you don't have any of those, or even the driver, you can use any old magnet that you have. This is a... Um, magnet that I had ever since I was a little kid, uh, Lake Shore, um, this is a magnet, um, so you can use any other magnet, I, I had this when I was a little kid and I kind of found it, uh, when I was cleaning out my bins, I wasn't even close to it and it activated, see, but let me, let me do that, let me, let's, let's show that off better, like, Say for yourself. So yeah, you don't really even need the driver. You just need a magnet to activate it. Um, so yeah, this is actually a pretty cool toy, and I really like the different modes that it has. It's really cool. So I definitely recommend this. Hell, you don't even need the Ghost Driver. You can, If you have any other magnetic Kamen Rider stuff, you can use that. If you have, you know, other magnets lying around, you can use that. Hell, if you have a magnet that you don't use anymore, like, uh, that you don't use anymore, like when you were a little kid, that did not... This is actually really stronger than I thought. If you have a magnet that you don't use anymore because you, you, you never used it since you were a little kid, well, now you have a use for it. So, yeah, that is pretty much it. So, I will see you guys later. Take care.